Welcome to Florist Review's online video that pairs with the technique department in each month's magazine. I'm Talmadge McLaurin, publisher of Florist Review. This month we're working with a florist favorite, a terracotta pot. And anytime I'm working with terracotta and fresh flowers means there's water involved and I want to make sure that everything works out right. So I use this product. It's from Design Master and it's called Pottery Sealer. And I just spray the inside of the terracotta. Now Pottery Sealer doesn't completely seal the terracotta, but what it does do is help protect against condensation. And when you're bringing flowers out of a cold cooler into a warm room for the party, you want to make sure that you don't get the, the, all of the linens or any of the tabletops wet with your centerpiece. Now to waterproof the containers, I'm going to line them with polyfoil. Uh, make sure you get the polyfoil and not just the foil because the plastic on the polyfoil really helps keep the moisture at bay. So I just press it against the surface and then give it a quick trim. For this centerpiece I've chosen several different terracotta pots starting with this big base that I just lined. And rather than fill it with several pieces of foam, um, I'm gonna use this product right here. It is from Syndicate Sales and it's a little wreath and it's inside a plastic tray. So that just can set right down into this pot. So it, that really does, again, help with moisture, but I like to be really, really certain that the terracotta doesn't get wet. So I triple seal. The next component to this centerpiece is to create some height in the middle, a little off center, and I'm gonna take a stack of clay pots, and the top one I've already lined with foil, and I'll pop some foam right down in that. So I'll be able to arrange flowers on two different levels, and that's really important. The other thing that I think is uh, clever is not to put the whole thing together. So when I deliver the arrangement, I can take it apart, take this out, put it all flat into boxes, slip it into a van or even a station wagon and not have any issues with the centerpiece being too high to deliver easily. So it's a centerpiece that comes in components. It's easy to put together and quite versatile. Now I'm going to add some flowers and for this centerpiece rather than mix all of the flowers up I'm going to try to work in sections. I'm going to take roses great variety called Cool Water. And I'm going to put three of them together so it creates a little grouping. Next I'm going to take some stalks and repeat that, creating another grouped section. Follow that idea with a little green trick dianthus. And maybe I'll just put one over here just to break up the monotony. A bird's nest always works as a great focal area. So I'm going to stick it in the front, slightly to the side. Add a few eggs. And continue adding sections of flowers. When I've made it all the way around the wreath, I'm going to finish off the top with a few choice blossoms and add some lily grass so the whole thing looks as natural as can be. For more great ideas on centerpieces, let me recommend my book Flowers for the Table. It's filled with centerpieces for almost any occasion that you can imagine and you can get it today by clicking on the bookstore right here on this website. We'll see you next month.